Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi, your stat tutor. I'm back again today. We are going to discuss about binomial probability distribution. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So this is a problem on binomial probability distribution. The percentages of couples where both parties are in the labor force is 52.1. Five couples are chosen at random. Determine the probability. There are three, four parts to the problem. First part says determine the probability that none of the couples have both persons working. Solution. This is a problem on binomial probability distributions where there are two possible outcomes or results. The success is where both parties both parties in the couple participate in the labor force and failure when both do not participate in the labor force. And what is the probability of success? Small p is 52.1% is 0.521 in decimal. What is my sample size? N is equal to five. So the first part asks, determine the probability that none of the couples have both persons working. That means we are looking for probability of X where X is the number of couples where both are participating in the labor force. In this case, none of them are participating. So X is equal to zero. Remember X is the random variable, number of, uh, where, uh, number of couples in which both parties are participating in the labor force. In this case, X equal to zero. So we go to second verse in our calculator. Press the second button, then the verse key, and then scroll down to binome PDF. First thing it asks is trials. That is the sample size, n equal to five. P, small p is the probability of success is 0.521. X, none of them are participating in the labor force. X is zero. You scroll down to pest and hit enter twice. So P X is equal to zero is binome PDF five comma point five two one comma zero in parenthesis and that is equal to point zero two five. Okay. Part B. More than three of the couples have both persons working. More than three. That means we are interested in probability X. X is the number of couples where both parties are participating is greater than three. So we are basically interested in probability of X equal to four plus probability of X equal to five because both of them are greater than three and we have only five couples. So therefore, starting from four, we stop at five. Now these two, some of these two probabilities is complement or opposite of probability of X less equal to three. That is, we are not interested in zero, one, two, and three. So these four probabilities added together, zero, one, two, and three is the complement to the case where we are interested in X equal to four and X equal to five. And by the law of complements of probability, so probability of X equal to four and X equal to five is one minus probability of the complement event, which is one minus, now we do second verse, okay? And you scroll down to binome CDF, not PDF anymore. Why? Because you are interested to check out the probabilities of zero, one, two, and three. C stands for cumulative. You are going to add those four probabilities together. Therefore, instead of using binome PDF, you're going to use binome CDF. And same, N is five, okay? and number of trials is five, probability of success is 0.521, and you want to add zero, one, two, and three, you want to stop at three because up to three is complement to four and five. And then enter and enter, and you get answer as 0.215. Part C, find fewer than three of the couples have both parties working, fewer than three. What are the ones we are interested in? fewer than three. Remember, X equal to zero is also a possibility. X equal to one and X equal to two. We want to add these three probabilities. I told you in the last step, C, we are going to use binome CDF, C is cumulative, where we add from zero up to a certain number. 
In this case, we are going to add from zero, one, and two. So we select the binom CDF, second verse, and then we scroll down to binom CDF. Trials is five, P is 0 0.521, and X, we want to zero, one, two, and three. Last number, sorry, zero, one, and two. Last number is th two. So X is two in this case. Why up to two? Because we are interested in probability X less than three and that is 0.461, okay? The last part says find the mean and the standard deviation. Now mean of a binomial distribution is given as n times p. n is number of trials, p is probability of success. Five times 0.521 is 2.605. Then it says find the standard deviation. Well, we will start with the variance, which is sigma square is equal to n times p times one minus p. So in our calculator, n is five multiplied by p is 0.521 multiplied by left parenthesis, one minus 0.521, close the right parenthesis and hit enter. And it's 1.2478. Now that is the variance. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So it is square root. So in your calculator, you do second excess square, which gives you the square root Inside the square root, you type 1.2478 and hit enter. And the answer is 1.117. That is the standard deviation, which is sigma. The variance was 1.2478. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write a comment and I will answer your question as soon as I can, okay? Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with a new problem in stats which I solve using TI-84. Thanks for watching, take care and have a good day. See you next time.